before you venture into anything in life you want to ensure that you do your research before you venture into it <music> here welcome to my channel if you just see me for the first time thank you for clicking on this video my name is lena and i make videos from lagos nigeria in this video today i'm going to be sharing with you how to start selling hair i get asked that question a whole lot how on to start selling hair how do i start if you're interested in that information then keep on watching this video and before you get into the video ensure you click the subscribe button just right below so that you're part of the family and you know when next i'll put a new video on this channel also click the post notification bell right beside the subscribe button yeah so guys let's get right into it the first thing you need to know is you need to research you need to research nobody's going to do that for you you need to research you need to research like i cannot overemphasize research what are you researching you need to research how are you going to get your hair getting the product is the most important thing how are you going to search your hairs locally are you going to search your hairs internationally internationally locally who are you going to buy your hair from go to your local market who sells hair there whose hair there is the hair that everybody wants to buy then you go to that store you touch the hair does the hair feel good like is it the kind of hair you want to be associated with how much is the hair being sold for will they ah like you you just need to research and if you look at the price of the hair there and it doesn't really suit your budget, or it probably looks like something that if you are reselling, you wouldn't make profit from, then you now have to start moving internationally. Internationally, how are you going to get your 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 hair vendor? What kind of hairs are you even going to see? I think I made a video on how what kind of hairs, like the various types of hairs, I think. What kind of hair are you gonna sell? Are you gonna be selling Chinese like hairs from Chinese suppliers? Are you gonna be selling Vietnamese hairs? hairs from vietnamese hair suppliers after this video i'm going to do, make a video on how to get a chinese hair supplier and how to get a vietnamese hair supplier so if you're interested in those videos ensure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss those videos when they drop you just need to decide on where you're going to get your hairs from either locally or internationally so the second thing you need to decide on is who is your target customer is your target customer a working class lady and you know right now with the current situation in the world people are not people are not going out though i must tell you people are still buying hair as much as people are not going out, people are still buying hair people are still getting their hairs done though it's not as much as it was before but you can't just be using the current global situation to say you're not going to get into the hair industry because truly as much as things are going on like things are going south in the world at the moment people are still investing in businesses people are still making sales people are still becoming millionaires in this hard times what kind of people do you have around you who are your friends who are your colleagues when you assess your environment like the kind of ladies you have around you it's not help to determine who your ideal customer is what your income level is how much you are willing to pay for hair most times look at yourself how much are you willing to pay for hair that would in most cases help to determine how much your customers are willing to pay for hair as well so you, you get you get <laughs> so you need to assess who your ideal customer is like i cannot overemphasize that because it will also help to determine what kind of hairs you want to sell it's to just help you determine if you're going to be selling chinese hairs or vietnamese hairs so the next thing you want to decide on is your brand name you need to search the internet to make sure that nobody's using the same name you want to use are you going to be going by nk's hairs are you going to be going by linda's hairs or Jiran luxury hair or Ghanaian um virgin hair i well, what business am i going to be using you need to ensure you search the internet and ensure that nobody has the same business name as you and after you've decided on the business name you want to use you, you need to register your business name you would receive more trust when people see that you're taking your business seriously you need to be someone who can be held, held accountable your business is one that can be trusted to deliver value so ensure you decide on your business name and you also register your business name the fourth thing you need to put into consideration is how are you going to sell your hairs are you going to have a physical store are you going to have to rent a shop where you're going to be selling your hairs at or you're going to choose to just restrict yourself to selling your hairs online you can choose to actually do both of them depending on your budget i can choose to just sell your hairs online in person for me i don't have a physical store yet yet i do lots of hairs for people in my room this room i'm filming in this is my business in fact this is my this is my shop this is where i do my hair laundry this is where i make my wigs this is where i package people's orders like there are cabinets where i store up hairs at my packaging material like you know all of this stuff like this my room here is my shop 
and I just market these hairs on Facebook, on Instagram, on WhatsApp. When I go to see people physically, they ask me for my hair, they see my hair, they like it. I show them the hair, they like it, and they purchase it. Like, you just need to decide how are you going to sell your hairs? Are you going to sell them online or in person or? Or probably having a physical store just decide depending on your budget just make the right decision that suits your breast for me the reason why i don't have a physical store yet is because i don't just sell hair i sell hair i also sell makeup and i i do hair i also do makeup and i also still have a, a eight to five job so because i still have an eight to five job i haven't been able to set up a physical store yet because i wouldn't want to be struggling with oh running from the mainland to the island from work and then running i don't know how i'm going to locate my store like you know all of all those issues just help made me to just feel like okay let me just chill for now then when i'm ready to pull out of the nine to five like you know career path i can just focus on opening a store and knowing that okay when i wake up in the morning i'm going to my store you know just decide on whatever works best for you for me i'm still online because i still have a nine to five job the fifth thing it's taking into consideration is packaging 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 after you decide on your brand name, you you need to get someone to get, do a logo for you. And you need to also decide, okay, are you going to be having satin bags? Are you going to use a paper bag? Are you going to just sell your hair in a random nylon? I advise you at least get a simple paper bag or a satin bag or something where you put your hair in and ship the hairs to your customer. So when the customer sees your hair and you know sees that at least you're putting an effort to ensure that your that the overall package looks nice they'll be impressed with you and they'll find it they'll be it'll be easier for them to refer people to your business because this day people just like things that look shiny like people like beautiful packaging people like people want to see packaging like that that looks so so beautiful people <laughs> The world right now is just so, so much interested in beautiful packaging because they tend to feel that if you can invest into your packaging, then of course you'd have also done the investment in ensuring that the quality of your products are also nice. So try as much as possible to ensure that your packaging looks decent. You don't have to go all in and spend all your hard-earned money into packaging. The quality of a product is still the most important thing. Get it? Yeah. So the sixth thing you need to know is what extra value are you going to give to your customer? Are you going to give them a hairbrush for each purchase they make? Are you going to give them discount on their next purchase? Are you going to offer them free laundry services? Are you going to offer them free wigging? You need to just decide on what extra value are you going to give to your customer? Are you going to probably give them a free pair of eyelashes for every purchase they make? Like you just need to, because truly people like free things. You don't want to be selling stuff without giving people one piece or another piece of a free item people like free things you just need to just look out for something you can just add to your package and sell the hair to them but then if you're already selling the hair at a ridiculously discounted price then you may not necessarily do that but when you have repeated customers you need to ensure that you at least give them discounts every once in a while you catch you catch yeah the seventh thing you need to put into consideration is logistics how are you going to ship your hairs if you're urging your hairs internationally are you going to be using the standard shipping method which is ups fedex or dhl to ship your your hairs into nigeria and or are you going to be using other logistic agents who ship hairs into the country or whatever country you are in to to like you know receive those hairs if you're in lagos nigeria i think this really really it's really really key for you because if you choose to use DHL and you're ordering like 300 bundles of hair or 600 bundles of hair, when it's time to pay for that shipping, my sister, you're going to pay a, lot of, a whole lot of money if you're using DHL. So it's just best to actually use logistic agents. If you got my hair vendor information, of course, you definitely have a logistic agent attached to that info that you could ship your hairs into the country with and also with one hairs with the same logistic agent. So you need to also sort of what logistic company are you going to be using to ship your hairs locally? Are you going to use DHL? Are you going to use Ace Logistics? Are you going to use other um, logistic coins like um, GIG, GUO? It just depends on the location of your customers and which of them they prefer. If they probably want to do house delivery, door to door delivery, or they, they are willing to pick up at the, um, the office of the companies in question. So just work out what, what suits your customers best. For me, I use Ace Logistics, but the problem I have with Ace is particularly in this um, pandemic period, they had to shut down their logistics outside of Lagos and they only have their office in VI. So 
most times if i have to ship i have to go all the way from the mainland to the island just to ship my hair so that just discourages me though i have a plan with them i really have i, I really go all the way out there to ship my hairs with them so i just tend to use call companies that are around me like guo gig you know and other local logistic companies so the seventh thing you need to decide on is marketing your hair how do you intend marketing your hair do you intend to be your own influencer by being your own influencer, I mean, do you intend wearing the hairs on your head and showing people how the hair looks like and how they can style the hair and you are talking for them or doing whatever thing you want to do because this is people dance and do all sorts all in the guise of selling hair. But then people are buying the hair if they are dancing. If you can do that, great. I don't know how to dance and sell hair. Sorry guys, I also hope you're not catching the background noise. I had to, I had to switch over to filming with my generator on because of course I'm in Lagos, Nigeria and light is still a problem. So are you going to use an influencer? Are you just going to use models and use the photos of the models or the videos of the models to market the hair in question? Are you going to use a celebrity? Are you going to use an influencer? I don't know. It just depends on you. Whatever rocks your boots. Like if you have the budget to use like an, if you have the budget to use an influencer, please by all means do. If you, have, if you have the budget to use a celebrity influencer, please, by all means, do. But the truth is, nobody is going to carry your business on their head more than the way you will do so. So, if I thought you're going to use an influencer, don't go and be giving your products to the influencer in the hopes that, oh, the influencer will wear it and tag you or post you and say, oh, you have great hair. The influencer is not obligated to. Except you have a written agreement with the influencer that says, oh, you're going to market this hair for me. You're, you're going to do four posts for me. You're going to do a video for me. You know, all those kind of... If you don't have a written agreement, you, you just give your product for free and you won't get anything in return. Like, you just... It, it should just be a lose-lose situation for you. So if you're going to use an influencer, make sure there's a written agreement that follows, like, you know, the arrangement you have with the, with the influencer. And, of course, you're going to have to pay the influencer for the work the influencer is doing for you. But in the beginning stage, I advise don't even start trying to say you want to start getting into an influencer. But if you have friends that are influencers, you can use your friends who are influencers to market your business. But most times, as I've said before, nobody is going to carry your business for you on their head more than the way you carry it on their head. Though I've been blessed with amazing friends that, that influence my business for me without even getting a dime. Like I've been blessed with friends like that. <sighs> So guys, just decide. Um, I feel the most important thing when you are starting is to get used to being your own influencer initially. Then with time, when your pocket, when your budget increases, when your income increases, you can choose to start using celebrities and influencers because these days you find that these influencers they just push product, push product, push products. How many of them will people be willing to buy into? Except when you've had them mention a product over and over and over and over again if they don't mention a product over and over again i feel like people may not may not buy into it so what you can just see okay they might just people will just follow you but you might not get any real purchase they need to mention a product over and over and over again before you actually get people who are willing to buy into your product so be careful with influencer marketing just know that marketing the way you choose to market your products is very very important you can choose to do instagram ads you can do facebook ads just to ensure you get a good stylist or if you know how to style hair very well style the hair very well on the model and market the hell out of the products just show people what the hair can do the eighth thing you need to know when you're getting into the hair industry is reinvestment like sis as much as you're selling those hairs you need to understand that you need to reinvest back the money you are making from the sales of the hair back into the business to purchase more more hair because that, that's how your capital base is going to increase and the more you the more capital you have to do business the more profit you'll be able to make so you need to understand that reinvestment is so so important so guys i hope you found value from this video i hope you got lots of things that you are willing to implement as you choose to start selling your hair so if you got value from this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to this channel share this video with your friends and i'll catch you in my next one i love you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe i love you bye